Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to document about how I prepare my fixer. Uh, it's been three months since I do any uh, developing, uh, film developing. So it's time for me to prepare another batch of fixer. Uh, later I will be making. I will be developing a uh, Shanghai GP3 120 so I need a new batch because mine has already spoiled for like it turns dark it smells like volcanic ash yeah so hmm, it's time uh, so the first thing you have to prepare is uh, for me I'm going to use the normal high pole high pole fixer so I'm going to take sodium thiosulfate sometimes you just call this high pole which y p o I think I should write it out over here uh, H Y P O yeah high pole yeah okay and then another thing is that because a uh, high pole fixer you are no, not you are. It will going to last about 13 minutes to 3 hours, I heard. Yeah, you are, you are going to use it once or so. But uh, there's a trick there where you can reuse it for as many times as you like or until it gets spoiled. Like I say, it turns dark and it smells like volcanic ash. Yeah. And the trick is this. You need a little bit of sodium metabisulfite. Yeah, just a little bit. This is the preservatives that uh, will help you, you know, make it make it last longer. And yeah, it's cheap. It's already cheap, but it gets cheaper that way. And another thing that you have to prepare is uh, two hundred fifty milliliters of water on one side, and a little bit more on the other side. Yeah, because uh, you are going to make five hundred milliliters in this recipe first thing uh, as you have seen here I've separated it into two different uh, is what conical flour and beaker yeah, two two different containers one of it is going to you are going to uh, heat it up uh, around 60 degrees or so or it starts uh, having bubbles like 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 it starts boiling but it's not fully boiling yet yeah that kind of, that kind of feeling and you have to prepare a uh, hundred grams of uh, sodium thiosulfate a uh, hundred grams sodium thiosulfate ten grams sodium meta bisulfite and five hundred milliliters of water uh, and you and you split it into half. So we'll start by uh, measuring 100 grams of this. Uh, open it up and just measure 100 grams. Yeah. You don't have to do it exactly, but uh, just approximately 100 grams. If you can make it accurate, then do so. If not, it's okay. Just around a hundred grams. Yep, a hundred grams that is. Okay, next. I will put this aside. Here. Next, we'll start this. Uh, you can use any Bunsen burner, but uh, I have a camping gas. It's a vintage, uh, what is it called? Vintage stove, camping stove. Yeah, I'll just use this. So a little bit, switch this on first, unlock, switch it on. And we have fire. And I'll use this, I'll just heat it up. Yeah, I have to be careful though, yeah. And yeah, one thing about uh, gas, uh, always, always make sure that you are in a well-ventilated area. And for my case, I open up all my windows 
beforehand. Yeah, yeah. Just be careful on this. Yeah, you don't want to die from like methane gas, don't you? Uh, yeah, we'll heat it up a little bit. Uh, and this is because when you mix this with uh, hypo, when you mix water with hypo, uh, it will have a hypothermic reaction. Yeah, hypothermic reaction. Yeah. And it will cool, it cools down, it cools down. And it's harder for you to dissolve the hypo yeah, if you don't heat it up. Yeah. Just heat it a little bit. Yeah. You can even test this yeah, if, you, if it feels hot enough and that's it. Or it starts having uh, steam. It starts steaming up and that's it. Yeah. People, call, people say that you have to like have 60 degrees, 70 degrees. No, 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 no. You just make, make sure that it starts steaming and that's it. Okay. Just a little bit more when it starts bubbling and... Oh, it starts smoking? No. It starts steaming? No. Not yet. A little bit more. Yep. Hot to the touch. I think that's it for now just a little bit more yeah and also uh, prepare cloth I forgot about this yeah, prepare cloth so that you know it won't burn your table a little bit hot but still I can touch it and next make sure this is dry off and we mix it just with the spoon Mix it up, mix it up. And the next thing, uh, I'm going to mix up a little bit of sodium uh, metabisulfite. Uh, usually people call this uh, like, like you need 10 grams or so. No, I just, I just measure it like this, you know. One teaspoon and two teaspoons. That's it. Mix it all up. All up. And it feels cool right now. It feels cool. Instant coolness. It cools down fast. And I just mix everything up. You don't have to be like fully dissolved or anything like that because, like, fixers to like use it just to remove the silver halides. And people say that you will have like a fixer streaks or something like that. No, 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 you won't. Just use it. Yeah. Fully dissolve or not. And just a little bit more like sodium metapi sulfide there. And it's kicking out like uh, I've been using this chemical for like uh, two years or so. Oh, without changing anything, without re uh, but it still works. I don't care. Uh, and what else is this? 99, 95 percent dissolved, almost dissolved, almost fully dissolved into a translucent liquid. I uh, just top it off into 500 milliliters. Yep, that's it. Mix it up like when you mix coffee. And let's see. 500. Can you see that? No, it's okay. 500 milliliters. Approximately. You don't have to be precise. And put it into a jar. A jar? A bottle? A bottle. Yeah. Transfer this into a bottle and you can start developing with it or fixing. Alright, thank you so much and I'll see you again. Goodbye.